I've been showing you drag clicking stuff for a while now, but for most of my videos I've been using my modded bloody A60 or bloody A70. And in today's video I want to see if there's maybe another good mouse for drag clicking or in general just Minecraft out there. And it's also the reason why Gloria sent me two of their mice. The first one is the Glorious Model O2 Wireless and the second one is the Glorious i2 Wireless. I'm going to talk about the differences between the two mice and maybe also where the weaknesses and strengths are and I will also compare them with my current favorite mouse, the Modded Bloody A60 or Modded Bloody A70. Okay, first I'm going to talk about the differences about these two mice. So the first thing you can already see is that the Model O2 wireless only has two side buttons and the i2 wireless has four side buttons which is actually a bit crazy they might be a bit annoying but if you're playing something like crystal pvp or other pvp game modes where you need many keybinds or something like that i think that could be pretty useful you can also tell that they have different shapes you can see the shape of the i2 is uh, tilted and the o2 is just normal as usual you know it took me a bit to get used to both of their shapes but uh, for the stuff i do i personally would would recommend the O2. Okay, now we're as usual in a round of Hypixel to see the butterfly clicking performance from the O2 and then from the I2. <laughs> uh, I hope that you can hear the click sounds well because uh, I don't know if the microphone captures them that well. Okay, nice, we got the first one. And I have to say that I'm really starting to enjoy Hypixel Bad Wars. My Bing is kind of bad, which is unfortunate, but otherwise it's uh, pretty funny. Okay, I can easily get 20 CPS with the mouse butterfly clicking. And my bed is gone, alright. Ah. Okay, I'm now in a second round, maybe this one goes better but it's always a bit hard for me to play on high pixel because it's really hard to combo people when i have uh, 150 ping unfortunately yeah but the mouse feels super nice it's uh, super light i was actually not used to like light mice because i used to play minecraft with the bloody a70 and the bloody a70 is a brick that weighs a bit also with a wireless mouse super nice what is he doing there Nah, okay, that's a bit unlucky. <laughs> I can't just hit him. Bro, what was this double hit? But we got him, so I guess it's alright. But as you can see, the O2 is also good for high pixel bad wars, and yeah, obviously, but um, probably also everything on high pixel. At least the uh, butterfly clicking feels good, even though it's a bit unfortunate. That there's like a plastic thing on the edge. I have like larger hands so every time I butterfly I kind of hit that which is a bit annoying but I can play with that it's not too bad. MLG time. Oh that actually worked. Also the positions of the mouse buttons feel really nice so it's like easy to press both of them they're pretty easy to press yeah. It also has good slides so I can even show you that like you can see how it just spins around when I uh, give it a little bit of uh, pressure. Although I have to say that I've had some connection issues. I don't know why I did the firmware update and everything, but sometimes the mouse, I don't know, it feels like it's disconnecting for a few seconds or something like that. So that's a bit weird. I don't know if it's because of me or maybe it's a problem of the mouse, but um, it's not too annoying, like, it's pretty rare, I haven't had it during this recording, so... Oh, bruh. Why does this always happen? Me was a threat. I see you there. What the flip? Nah, ah, ah. Nah. Nah, nah, nah. That, that is not legit. Yeah, all right, all right. Okay, sure, buddy. All right, bro. I swear, I, I just can't win or something. I, I, I feel like I'm cursed or something. Okay, and I'm in a new round with the I2 this time. 
Uh, I hope this time there's no hacker in here. But yeah, the i2 has kind of the same problem as the o2 for me. There's like the, the plastic thingy on the side. Like you can feel it when butterfly clicking. It's not too annoying, but it's still there, you know. I can show you a clip of it. Okay, what is he doing? Nice. And we got him. Perfect. Oh, wait. We did not get him. Okay, we got him now. Ooh la la. Yeah, but I feel like you have to get a bit more used to the shape of the I2 than the O2. Because it's like... Oh, wait. What is he doing there? Ah, 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 ah. <clears throat> That's... Uh... Alright, buddy. Yeah, you have to... What? But yeah, you have to grab it a bit different because of the shape, but it's, you get used to it pretty quick. And otherwise, the buttons of the i2 are like straight. They're not curved in like the O2 or many other mice, which actually makes it yeah, a bit nicer to butterfly click on. Also, like to both of their battery lives, I charged the, the i2 for like five minutes because I forgot to charge it and I wanted to record it. Bypassing in bed was crazy. But yeah, what I wanted to say is that the battery life is actually pretty good. I charged the mouse like five minutes because I wanted to record the video. And so far it's doing good. What's also interesting is that the O2 has like a DPI switcher button. And the I2 has a DPI up and down button. Bro, my Minecraft just crashed. Okay, thanks to Badline, I was able to load in quickly, but... Uh, bro, what's going on? I have to fight against a hacker. My game crashes. What is going on today? But yeah, it's also uh, pretty good for, like, high pixel bad wars or stuff, I would say. And I get a bit more CPS on the... O2 I would say but I don't think that like 5 CPS make the difference in a fight so I'm also not the best butterfly clicker so there are probably people out there who can make more CPS on this mouse with butterfly clicking than me. But the probably most annoying thing for me with the I2 is the freeze side buttons here. I think I have to get like used to it but uh, right now for me it's hard to hit the right side button because they're just so close to each other. Okay here's a little soundtrack of the mice while butterfly clicking because I think you didn't hear it that good during the bad wars rounds. Okay, and now you will see some drag clicking gameplay with the O2 and the I2. I decided to not do a commentary while recording the clips because I'm not the best at doing that. And you can also hear the click sounds better then. <laughs>
So let's come to the conclusion. Are the Glorious Model O2 and the Glorious Model I2 really the best mice for Minecraft? Well, it depends on what you're doing. I also have to say that I have not tried every mouse that's out there, so I can only share my experience with other mice. But yeah, I really like the mice. They have a great quality, especially compared to the bloody mice. Also, the packaging was super nice. It was like when you buy something from Apple or something like that. So that's definitely a positive point. They're also like super light, which makes them especially good for bridging in Minecraft or even other games. I have been trying to learn speed tally bridging and I had my problems turning fast enough with the bloody A60 or A70 and when I tried it with the O2 it went much better. But for me personally there are also some downsides. As I've talked about, this plastic line right here is for me a bit annoying because you can just feel it when butterfly clicking. The same thing is on the I2 as you can see here and I feel like on the I2 you even feel it a bit more. And the other thing why I didn't show you any clutches or something like that is because I can do my longer clutches with these mice. You can see right here the mouse button is like our own thing, it's not connected to the base down here. And this is the HyperX mouse right here, you can see that this is just one button, there's no like separation or something like that. This, it's just one long button which is actually in my opinion a bit better for drag clicking. But this doesn't make the mice bad at drag clicking, as you saw in the drag clicking clips, they're great for drag clicking or just in general German Bad Wars or something like that or MLG Rush. And there's like one weird thing that I noticed when using the Model I2, I will show you a clip of it. If I like drop the mouse on my desk, it just clicks by itself, which is actually a bit weird, but I don't think that's like too big of a problem or something like that. And even though they're wireless, they're still accepting many CPS. I think I even got like almost 70 CPS with the O2. <laughs> The mice are really good, but they are not quite perfect yet. I feel like when Glorious or any other mouse company would do a mouse like I described it, I feel like, well at least for me, it might be the perfect mouse for Minecraft. But yeah, that's it with today's video. I hope you all liked it and if you haven't already, you can also make sure to subscribe and I hope you had a wonderful time. Goodbye.